The AFL is stepping up its moves to provide long-term support for concussion victims as other high-collision sports at the elite and grassroots level grapple with the growing problem. A long-time concussion campaigner is calling on betting agencies to use booming profits to fund a massive $2 billion support package for ex-AFL players. Peter Jess has been on a concussion crusade for 15 years, self-funding his own research and supporting ex-players. Sadly, at times, that crusade has morphed into late-night counselling sessions. On Sunday night, 11.30, I had one of my past players' uh, wives ring me telling me that he was considering um, you know, finishing his life, so we had to deal with that at 11.30 of a Sunday. But that's not the first occasion. That's something that I deal with on a very you know, regular basis, uh, even though I'm not equipped to do it. But um, you know, we, we seem to... Uh, you know, get people back on deck. Jess managed elite footballers and was shocked by the prevalence of mental issues post-career. I first started um, being worried about it when guys who I work for, who I started out when they're 18 and 19, and I started to see them in their, you know, 40s, early 40s and 50s um, with significant uh, neurological, um, you know, functional problems. And I thought, well, you know, there's got to be something more to this. These days he has staff assessing tests from 80 former top level players and 50 ex sub elite footballers. What we found is that the weekend Warriors damage was exactly the same as if they'd played in the um, you know the AFL so that is of you know concern. Jess is also deeply concerned about head knocks in women's footy and is pushing for a fund to help ex players a principle used in the NFL that could also be mirrored in rugby league and rugby union. And it doesn't really change much between the codes, you know, between the AFL, you know, the NRL and, you know, the ARU. The, um, clearly it's dose, you know, related. The longer you play, the more you play, the more damage that you're likely to have. The Jess proposal for the AFL is a $2 billion fund built up by $125 million a year across 80 years. The kicker is who pays for it. Jess calling on the booming sports betting industry to fully or partly fund the deal. Betting sponsorship helps put on the game. My view is that the low-hanging fruit is um, the sports betting agencies. Um, you know, we've seen you know, the super profits that they make and um, they create, you know, the product that, you know, creates the damage and so they should pay for it. Without question, the most sensible way to go. Yep. I mean, you know, their profits are outrageous. The AFL's taking it seriously. Uh, respected former club president Peter Gordon right now working on a potential mechanism for support for past players. Neuroscientist Alan Pearce has no doubt concussion is the number one issue for all codes. We can't dismiss uh, brain injury. You know, this is something that's more than just a hamstring pull or an ACL. You don't get to, you know, potentially dementia from these uh, injuries. More and more ex-players are contacting him with health concerns. You know, only a few years ago they'd be quite dismissive of, of oh, there's nothing wrong with me or I'm OK, whereas now it's like, well, I'd like to get checked. I'd like to make sure that everything's OK. And if not, then what can I do about it? And so yeah, it's, it's good to see that everyone's starting to get this awareness happening. It has the potential to have a massive impact on several sports at both elite and grassroots level. I've met with the AFL over the last 10 years, you know, whilst... Um, you know, the suggestion is the only way you move forward is to be in court and um, I'm suggesting to the AFL that's the very last option. What they should be doing as good corporate employers is looking after their employees. So serious are the Knox, Jess is even advocating changes to the way Australian rules is played to make it safer. I put to the AFL, you know, the model that we should look at is, you know, Gaelic football where we have blocks rather than tackles. If we want this sport to be a focus in 20 years, we've got to protect the people that, that play it because they are the sport. Mark Stevens, Sky News.